Hey everybody, this is Clapboard Trains Productions here. Today I'm going to show you how to use, take apart this gearbox. I said in the how to change traction tires on a Thomas video that I would make a follow up to it to how you take apart this little gearbox. There are some engines that use these. Thomas uses them. Percy also uses them and Toby uses them. And there's some other engines too that use it. But anyways, let's get started. So first thing here, we got a gearbox, all right? So first thing we gotta do, there's two black screws. Some may be sil silver, depending on, you know, what gearbox you have. All right, so we just took those two screws out. Now the cover just lift off. All right, so now we got a whole bunch of gears in here. There's five gears. We got this dude here. We got another gear. We got this spring gear that helps it so that the train can freewheel. And we got this big flywheel gear here. And then we got the little motor gear. But yeah, so here is the inside of the gearbox. So I'm going to take one of these gears out. There's, these are the little gears that are close up. There's one of them right there. I'm not sure what the name of these are supposed to be called. There's another. This is the spring. It's quite a big spring. And here is the actual gear. And then here is this big flywheel gear. And then you got the motor gear. Alright, so um, to get down in this even further, there's another screw. This is where the, this is where the switch cover is, where you get access to the switch. Take that little screw out. Okay. And this cover just comes out real easily. Here's the inside of this. So we have a switch in here, as you can see. These, these metal prongs go on the metal that the motor has this little metal piece soldered on. And then here is the motor itself, as you can see. Um, this piece right here is where it makes a connection. So when you have this gearbox together, you just put it into that hole. And once you have it in that hole, when the, end, when the motor's on and everything, it will run across this whole metal piece right here. It will run across that all the way to the navigate end so that we can make a connection. And then we got this piece over here. Um, this is the positive terminal. There's the terminal right there. A little metal piece. All right, so there are all the components to this gearbox. Now we're going to put this back together. All right, so the first thing we got to do, we got to put this um, metal piece in here like that. All right, so now since we got that positive terminal in there, now I got to put the motor in there. All right, so we're just, just putting the motor in like that. Very easy. And then we get our switch. We want to make sure that the metal here is down on that metal. All right. And then now we want to put this on here. So let's get that on there. All right. Now let's get our screwdriver.
There we go. Switch is working. All right, so now we gotta put in our gears. So this is our big, huge flywheel gear. We're gonna put that in there. And then we're going to put in our spring gear. Goes down in that little hole. And I'm just gonna put the spring in there. And then put this gear in that hole. And then we're gonna take this gear here and then we're going to put it in that hole. All right, now we got all of our gears in that box now. So the next thing that we gotta do is now put our cover on. So we just gotta make sure we get all lined up. Sometimes this can be a little bit tricky. Um, sometimes these gears don't always wanna line back up. There we go, got it in there. All right, now we just gotta put in the two screws. One. Go in these holes here. And two. All right, so we are done. I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope it gave you some insight. It's a very nice little gearbox. I like it. And remember, don't be afraid to take these things apart. They're not that hard. Maybe at first, but the more you do them, the more you get better at it, just like with anything. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!